the next event on the track if we can catch our breath is the semi-final round of the 800 meters there are three heats in this semi-final round Everett of the United States goes on the inside in heat one Mochabon of Germany Sepeng of South Africa Freddie Williams of Canada Haider of Morocco and Martin Steele of Great Britain in lane six Billy Conchella of Kenya in seven Atlee Douglas of Norway in lane eight well real opportunity for Martin Steele originates from Huddersfield He's promised much over seasons gone by, always produced indoors and never been able to convert it, until now that is. Young man 477, just in the background, representing Britain and Longwood Harriers. Best 143.84, it remains the fastest time in the world this year. But of course this is about racing, it's about being in the right place at the right time. Billy Conchella, just outside him, made the Kenyan team again world champion in 87 and 91 the American champion Mark Everett third last time in the world championships 144.43 this season Rochebon of Germany his first season as a runner believe it or not former German champion at modern pentathlon born in Berlin father from the Cameroons Zeichel Sepeng of South Africa fifth in the world junior championships just last year 145.97 three A's junior champion Freddie Williams of Canada, semi-finalist last time. He's made it again. Haida of Morocco won his heat in 146.35, the Mediterranean champion this season. Martin Steele. This is his big chance. Britain's number one, the world number one on time. Billy Conchella of Kenya. Double world champion, 87 and 91 defending champion. Atli Douglas of Norway, the Norwegian record holder, 144.74. It's going to be tough for young Martin Steele, just the first two go through out of the three heats in this semi-final round, plus two fastest losers overall. So he has to regard this as a final in itself. I wonder how Conchella will run it almost didn't qualify for the semi-final he left it very late as he often does how often we've seen him win the major race from behind had lots of illness contracted TB in 1985 suffered from all sorts of allergies moved from Los Angeles to Albuquerque to get clean air recovered didn't break 146 between 1987 and 90 but did it when it mattered in the two world championships good to see him back in the Kenyan team So, just to remind you of the lineup again. Everett, Mochabon, Sepeng, Williams, Haida, Steele, Conchella, and Douglas. Just waiting for the clock to tick away. 20.49 local time on the board. These are nervous moments, aren't they? I wonder what thoughts are going through his mind here. What tactics he proposes. He's got to go for it, that's for sure. All eyes up at the big scoreboard. Big picture of themselves standing there. Haid of Morocco. So the first heat of the semi-final round of the men's 800 meters underway. Now Douglas has gone up very quickly into the back straight. Freddie Williams of Canada going well, and uh, Mark Everett's taking it on in the back straight with uh, Douglas coming right across with uh, Mochabon of Germany in there as well. Haida of Morocco running wide, 857. Freddie Williams with the dark glasses on. The youngster Sepeng is in there in uh, fifth place. Martin Steele back in eighth, now moving up. Steele not wanting to get uh, off the pace here. He won't want Everett to get away. Everett's. Uh, a 144 man, and he knows it. Martin Steele moves now into second place. Haida in third. A sensible run by the Briton. So, 49, 50.48 at 400 metres. Everett leads. Steele in second place. Oh, there was a little stumble. Haida's there. Mochabon in fourth place. Then Sepeng. And then uh, Douglas. And Steele has got to be in the first two to go through by right. 
The big German pounding him. And here comes Williams of Canada on the outside. And Steele's going with him, and Everett, oh, and they're stumbling, and Everett almost gets uh, pushed over. Steele's gone with uh, Haida of Morocco. Haida Lee, Steele in second place. And Douglas in third. And this is very, very uh, fast, this. And Haida, a best of 145.62 this season, put his cards on the table. Douglas in second. Williams in third. Here comes Conchella, as always. Never features until the end. And Steele running very, very heavy leg. Conchella wins it. Williams in second place, and the South African Sepeng gets third. And uh, Martin Steele found that very tough indeed. 1.45.05. He had the fastest time in the world this year. But as I began by saying, in the major championships, it's about being in the right place at the right time. He had a very rough ride indeed. Mainly caused by the Moroccan. By the... Uh, Moroccan in the green. I watch. They closed him down there. And Steele had already committed himself to the gap. And earlier, going into the final lap, the Moroccan clipped Steele's heel. In fact, uh, quite a few of the athletes were in trouble there. Young Ezekiel Sepeng uh, stumbled and went back. And Mark Everett, just going backwards here, gone. The American, 144-43 this season, third in the World Championships, last time in Tokyo, has gone. Stopped running, in fact. Well, Majub Haida, the Mediterranean champion, Mediterranean Games champion, followed home there by Athlete Douglas, the Norwegian, the Norwegian record holder. And, uh, well, tactically, he ran well. Conchella, we hardly mentioned him because he's never there. In the final stages of the race, look at that. Totally and utterly majestic. The double world champion, 87 and 91, just saunters through. He's let the rest get into trouble, jostle each other, and now he comes through, and this time it's a far more comfortable uh, win, isn't it? So, a very, very fine performance by Conchella. Williams, Ezekiel uh, Sepeng, and Haida, who suffered a bit, didn't he, towards the end.